The Ulu Cooperative, we're based on the Big Island. We have two facilities, one in Hilo, one in Kona. What we do is we're a network of over 100 farms and we aggregate the breadfruit supply. And we've just expanded into different agroforestry co-crops like Kalo, Walla, Pala Ai, which is pumpkin or kabocha squash. And what we're doing is providing a service for the farmers by giving them stable markets and also making sure that the food doesn't go to waste by pre-cooking, sourcing, peeling, and getting it to commercial markets or to homes like you guys. Um, so you can also get it direct online. And if you go into shop online, go to bulk products. These are all of our, this is our call of product here. We also have Walla, Okinawan sweet potato, and Pala Ai and also Ulu whenever it's available. So in any one of these products, we'll go to Kalo because that's the featured for tonight's experience. And you can go ahead and get a one-time purchase which is what um, Kamakau was able to sponsor through their grants and we're really grateful. And if you guys love this and you want to have a regular monthly supply, you can just subscribe. And what it does is it auto charges every month so that you can just have a direct source of ready to go Kalo to cook at home. Um, so that's how that works. And if you guys have any questions on that, um, please email us info at eatbreadfruit.com and we can help set you up. There's one more thing that we started, which is really exciting for the holiday season. So if you guys go to curated boxes here, it's called stock up on staples. And this is another monthly program where I signed my mom up. She absolutely loves it. Um, every month we're giving a rotation, five pounds of the different crops that we feature. So one is Ulu, Kalo, Uwala, Palai, and we even added cassava because that was something that our farmers asked us to help them um, sell and they're, they're looking for markets. So this is a really exciting way to reduce your consumption of imported starches and to work with locally grown produce. So we really wanna make sure that we're all enjoying local, locally grown, super ono, healthy foods, and we can try and you know, support stocking up on local staples as opposed to you know rice and other things that maybe are are not as good for our bodies so with that said i just want to mahalo you all i'm going to stop my screen share and you can always reach out to us with questions and i'm going to let Eini take it away we're going to begin with a protocol for opening and closing and then she's going to um, teach us all about haloa the mo'olelo and how to make this wonderful kalo stuffing. So go ahead, Iini, mahalo. Aloha me kako. I'm just gonna share my screen now. Aloha. So uh, welcome to Kanaka Kitchen. Um, and I, we're going to uh, start with protocol. So here is our first oli and uh, you can join along with me. Aloha ye. Aloha e na aqua, Aloha e na aumakwa, Aloha e na alio havai, Aloha e na kufuna, Aloha e na makwa, Aloha e kalehulehu, Aloha e ye. Aloha mai kākou, o vau o iini mai kalani ke ali i koa aina kākalau, ke kau me i ini. Uh, o Hawaii, ku umoku puni, o Hamakua ku umoku, o Waipio ku ua vāwa, o Hiilawe ku uvai lele, o Kūnaka ku u kahawai, o vai olena ku u kai, a o Kohala ku u mauna. Aloha mai kākou. So I will be cooking with you guys today. I'm very, very excited. Uh, to go to do Kanaka Kitchen with you. And so just real quick, I want to go over what Kanaka Kitchen is all about. Um, and it's not just a one trick pony. We try to hit a whole bunch of different marks with it. And so the first one being uh, using Hawaiian ingredients and Hawaiian cooking methods um, and, and bringing those to life again. A lot of times the people associate Hawaiian ingredients with, okay, uh, long time, lots of work for too much people and I don't want to do it. But really, we can use Hawaiian ingredients every single day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And at Kanaka Kitchen, we try to teach you guys how to do that. And besides the ingredients, there are so many cooking methods that just get kind of not even thought of like lavalu. And so we try to 
teach all of that in Kanaka Kitchen. Another one is supporting local. Um, that's very important to us. If we start supporting ourselves, supporting our farmers, supporting our businesses that are making things like wonton chips and cookies and whatever, we can help our own economy. So this is very important to us as well. Cooking with, an, with the ohana, so important. And to me, it makes the food just taste more ono, right? When everybody had a, a part of the kuleana to prepare, to prepare the food, it tastes so much more delicious. That's why we like Thanksgiving so much or we like the painas and whatnot because it's like, oh, what you made, what you made, what you made. And it tastes so delicious. So that's why cooking with the ohana is a huge part of Kanaka Kitchen. Um, being cost efficient, that is necessary nowadays. That garu. And it's hard because, you know, that the, the not so healthy foods is the stuff that's cheaper. Well, I promise through Kanaka Kitchen, we can also teach you how to eat pono, but also eat where you can still have some money saved on the side. So that's another one. Cooking for two or 200. With all of these recipes, you know, today I'm, it's only me and my kane, so I'm making a small batch, but we also make this stuffing for two, three, 400 people in big foil pans. So these recipes can be, you know, doubled up, tripled up, quadrupled up, um, go for it. And all of this is done while we all aloha Hawaii, right? Because um, again, the food tastes so much ono when we all aloha Hawaii and we cook together. Um, when we all aloha Hawaii while we're cooking, the vocabulary and the sentences, they stick a lot better, yeah? Versus just learning hypothetical vocabulary like sheep, tree, car, all of these words make sense. You get to hold them, you get to do the actions. And so when you say the word, oki, 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 I promise you, you're never gonna forget that word. Um, another thing we always do is we don't let people eat until they tell us, we give a little pop quiz. So that's a big incentive for people to want to olala Hawaii as well. I'm in our Kanaka kitchen because you don't get to eat unless you tell me what this is and what that is. So that's just us in general at Kua Kanaka. And so for our menu today, we are doing kalo stuffing. So the holidays are coming up. It's my favorite time of the year. Um, and I love to cook. I love to cook all that kind of stuff, but I always try to, try to incorporate our Hawaiian ingredients inside. And so the first thing I want us to do, olu olu mai, if we could please turn on our ovens to 350. Olu olu mai, hele iko oma, your oven. And we'll learn all these words in a little bit, and we want to turn it to Ekoluha Neli Kanalima. 350, please. My, um, my first thing I ever learned how to cook was a cheeseburger pie. I was like 11. And I got the whole recipe down, but somehow I didn't learn the part where you had to preheat your oven before that. And so it just kind of just sat in there for a really long time, and it was bad. So I've never made that mistake again. So please, everyone, first thing, turn on your ovens. Awesome. Mahalo. Okay, so we go holo moa now. So we're gonna go over our ingredients, and I hope you have all your ingredients with you today. If not, don't worry. Um, I believe you're gonna get all of this information, or you've already gotten a lot of this information, and so you just you can just follow along later and kind of get all the the fancy techniques and whatnot. But um, we're gonna go over the ingredients. So kamea moa oyake kalo, olelo, kalo. I'm I'm waiting to hear see lips. <laughs> kalo. My kaya. What is the kalo? It's the taro. Yes. Yeah, so mahalo nui to the ulukoa for providing this kalo. Mahalo nui. I didn't have to steam it for hours and peel it. This is this is a game changer when it comes to have, wanting to prepare kalo meals to have it already previously frozen and ship, shipped straight to your hale. That I mean, thank you. So we have our kalo, okay? O kamea elua oya ka apala. O leloho apala. My kai. What is that? Can we? Can you guys show me what that is? Do you guys have it in front of you? Your apple. My kai. Your apala. Next we have our palawa. O leloho palawa. My kai. Can you guys show me your palawas? Do you have your palawa in front of you? I, it could be any palawa, palawa palani, palawa sourdough, palawa wheat. I'm gonna go with a, a baguette, a baguette. Um, that's one of my favorite palawa. Uh, yeah, it's our bread, my kai, awesome. Next we have our kelaki, olaloho, kelaki. 
What does it sound like in English? Celery, right? So a lot of these words are traditional. We have our kalo, you know, huamo and whatnot. Some of them, you know, we never have it in the Vakahiko. So we have to kind of come up with words and we try to stay as close to the original as possible. So in that case, it is kelaki, celery. Yes, very good. It's my favorite in the stuffing because it adds a nice crunch. Then we have our vayu paka. Olelo ho, vayu paka. My kayen, what is that? What is that? It's one of my favorite ingredients. It comes from my German side. I, I cannot, I cannot deny. It has to go in almost everything. Our butter, yes. Our vayu paka, yeah. Nice paka, like a spread, you know, paka. Vayu paka, butter. My kai. A ka a kai. Olelo ho, a ka a kai. Anybody have an idea? Can you show me in the in the camera what your aka akai looks like? Aka akai, I'm gonna pull it up. Our onion, yes, our onion, my kai. And we have a whole bunch of different aka akais. We have your aka akai maoli, aka akai momona, right? We know the word momona, right? It means sweet, fertile, and sexy, not fat, okay? Sweet, fertile, sexy. So it's your sexy onion. No, it's, it's your sweet onion, okay? Uh, we have aka akai lo ihi, long. That's your green onion. You have aka akai ula ula, or aka akai ula, red onion. You have aka akai pilau. What do you think that is? Because you know we don't like eat pilau. That's we don't like eat pilau. But what do you think that is? What's kind of like who when you honey somebody go brah? I don't think so. What is that? Your garlic. Yeah. So aka akai pilau is garlic. And my favorite tongue twister in Hawaiian is pa'akai aka'akai pilau. That's my favorite, garlic salt. <laughs> that is how I, that's, that's, my, that's my tongue twister. Okay, next we have our hua moa. Can you show me your hua moa? <clears throat> yes, hua moa, moa chicken, hua fruit or egg. So we have hua moa, my kai. Awesome. Ayla. What is Ayla? Yolelo ho Ayla. Kai. That is our oil. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna need some oil, pan, some kind of grease that's gonna go on top of your pan, right? Because there's nothing more of a bummer than doing all that hard work and the bug is stuck to the pan. It's heartbreaking. So Ayla is very important. It seems like a little thing in this in this whole dish, but it's actually very important. Okay. Now we all know this one, paakai, right? Olelo ho, pa'akai. Pa'akai. Right? We know this one, right? We know this one, this one, right? Down, down, right down. down pa'akai. Yeah? Yeah, so we have all different kinds of pa'akai. Of course, we're using the Hawaiian salt, granulated salt, kosher salt, any kind of pa'akai you like. Go for it, okay? Next, we have peppa. And it's very close to the English name. Peppa. It's like a pigeon. So, hey, brother, I like some peppa. Some pepper. Pepper. Yes, we're gonna need this. Can I get too close? Cause I'm gonna sneeze all over it. Okay. Then we have kai. In this case, we're using kai moa, but you can use any kind of kai you want. Okay. Have any idea what that is? Kai sauce or broth or anything like that. So we have kai moa today. But again, if you're a vegetarian, you can have. Um, a vegetable broth, um, beef broth, shrimp broth, whatever. I like the chicken broth. Um, so we use that one. And then we have la au ai ikalia. La au ai ikalia. It's the only thing my honey never get on the shopping list. Ikalamai. Um, we don't have that today, but if you do have it, awesome. It's going to make it taste more. Oh no, but lao ai. Anybody lao ai? It is your, your herbs. It's your herbs, low, the O, I, all that. I um, mean, this Italia, right? Italian. So if you're using Italian parsley, any kind of other leafy herbs you guys have in your garden or you guys buy, it's totally up to you. Okay, let's, so let's see if you guys got those correct, right? So if we're not doing a little Hawaii, we're gonna need taro, apple, bread, celery, butter, onions, eggs, oil, salt, pepper, chicken broth, and Italian parsley. My kailoa. Okay, so now we're gonna go over the stuff we need, okay? So 
We are going to need a Papa Oki. If you didn't get one yet, please do so. But if you have it in front of you, please lift it up so I can see, I, you know, you know what you're talking about. Papa Oki, awesome, right there. Yeah, I'm a Papa, something flat. And the action that you're doing on it is Oki. Yeah, Papa Oki, my kai. Next, Pahi. Please show me your Pahi without hurting anybody. Oh, sister, over there. Be careful. Pahi, okay, my kai. Pahi, perfect, yeah, my kai. Pa pa lai. Pa pa lai. Please show me your pa pa lai. Yeah, your pa. And pa lai means to fry. So this is your, your pan. Right now, I know you're probably going to fry yourself over there. So I just have it with me, our pa pa lai, okay? Then we have kapuahi. Oleloho, kapuahi. Please don't carry your kapuahi in front of the camera. It's going to be dangerous, okay? It's your stove. It's your stove, okay? So I have a little, I have, this is my, my stove today. I'm gonna be cooking on here, okay? And next you have ulao. <clears throat> ulao, spatula, spatula. And you can eat like, uh, but you're gonna need that, you know, to mix up the stuff you're, you're frying. You're gonna need an oma. Can you tell me where your oma is? Now you also, please don't lift that up. You should have turned it on in the beginning of the class. Oma, your oven. My kai. And then what do you think is your pa oma, right? What is your pa oma? Your pa, that goes in the oven, your pa oma. That's your baking dish. Perfect. Now we're just gonna go over basic kitchen stuff. If we are cooking that we're probably gonna need here and there. So we have our ki ahana, ki ahana. Yeah, so ki aha is a glass, you can, ki aha you drink out of, ana is to measure. So this is your measuring cup, right? You have different sizes, but this one's mine, it's glass. Uh, next we have puna pa ko ko. Puna pa ko ko. So our regular puna spoon, puna pa ko ko, pa ko ko, tablespoon. Perfect, tablespoon. Then we have puna ki. Puna ki, opposite of tablespoon, teaspoon. Oh, Kapuna is so smart. Yeah, I was like, okay, tea, ki, spoon, puna. Then let me just move you guys real quick. Um, we have regular ki aha, uh -huh, so to drink, right? We have our glass to drink out of. Puna and o, what you're probably going to use to eat with. Yeah, your puna and your o. And then you have your pa. Pardon my reach, pa, your plate. And you have pola, your bowl. And your bowl can be, or your pola can be in your eating bowl. It can also be one of your mixing bowls. Anything that you're gonna put it in. It can even be like a tin foil pan, something that you're gonna put something in. So those are our basic kitchen stuff, right? So I'm gonna say, grab your oil, you know, grab your pola, grab your this. You know what I'm talking about. And our last vocabulary of right now, is the actions, okay? So it's gonna be a little bit of hula hula we gotta do, okay? So the first one is holoi. Can you please show me with your hand what is holoi? Holoi, right, holoi, mai kai, we holoi lima, hopefully you holoi elemu, holoi kino, holoi all of that, please. And then you holoi your mei, right? When you get when you get your mei, please holoi before you, you do that. So all of this has been washed before, okay? Next, oki, show me with your hand how to oki. What is oki? Maikai, maikai lo, oki, right? Oki also like this, right? So with the upa, so that's all oki, maikai lo. Oh, you guys get them. Palai, what is palai? You gotta kind of cook, right? You gotta cook, you gotta come the fire and cook. Palai, maikai, maikai. Ho ono ono. What is ho ono ono? Right, so another word, ono, obviously, right? We know that. And in Hawaiian, whenever we put the same word twice, it must mean major ono, right? Ono ono mean, okay? And ho or ho, -o, two different ones, means to cause, right? So ho ono ono means causing it to be really, really ono, yeah? So that means to season, to season, yeah? So you get your salt, you got our pepper, um, you put um, ranch, what, whatever you do, whenever you're seasoning something, you are causing it to be ono. Ho ono ono is the word. My kai. What about ho'ohui? 
show me what ho ho is with your hand, right? So kind of like, you know, just bringing things together, my kai, ho o hui. Right, the idea of hui, right? When you guys are in your different hui's in school, or you're gonna get little friends, you know, your hui or whatever. And ho o is to cause it, right? Causing it to come together. Mai ka iloa. We have a couple more, so we have komo. Can you show me how to put something into something? Komo, komo, right? So a lot of the times after we pop oki something or whatever, komo iloko o kapona, komo iloko apalai. Somebody's microphone on. If we can see the back on you. Um, next, we have Tupac. Yeah. And Tupac means to boil. Yeah, so when you your collar initially, or when you have to um, steam it, the collar when it's raw, you want to. Yeah. So we're lucky yeah. enough to, have to do that today because, again, my collar came prepared. So, very lucky. And the last one is mahi. 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 That ends how you would mahi. That means like a banana. Mahi the maya. What is that? Exactly. You hemo, right? You hemo the skin. Right? You know what I kind. Mean. So um, mahi means to peel. So again, if you have this amazing galo, you don't have to do any of that. I'm telling you, it's like hours and hours of, of work we don't have to do. But if you have kalo that you just went hooky and that's awesome, then you have to kupa and then you have to maihi because you don't like the skin when you cook. Okay, guys, you guys are doing awesome. So now we're doing the actual parts of the Kanaka kitchen. We're putting it together. Okay, so here's the English and we're gonna, I'm just gonna say in Olala Hawaii and try to listen for the words that we had already used in our vocabulary because I guarantee you guys know this, okay? So kamea ho'ai ka oma, I e koluha neli kanalima kekona. Okay? Alaila ho oma kau kau i ko pa oma meka aila. Yeah? Makes sense, right? Okay. Alaila ki i ka pa pa lai a komoe kawaii paka a pa lai i ka a ka a kai a meke kela ki. Okay? Um, kuke a ma kau kau. A komo iloko o kapola. Laila, lave ike kalo a oki ina mahele li li i. You can make it here. A komo iloko kapola. Oki i kapalawa ka apala ka laau ai i kalia. A komo iloko kapola. Ho ono, ho ono ono me ka pepa a me ka pa akai a ho o hui. Ho o hui. Okay? The ma iloko ke kahi pola e a e, komo i kahua moa, a me ke kai moa, a ho o hui. Yeah? Ke kavili, ho o hui ke la mao mea. Alayla, komo ke la hua moa, a me ke kai, ma luna o ka palawa, a me ke kalo, a me ke la ki, na mea a pao. Ke pao, komo ke la mea ai a pao i loko, O ka pa oma, komo ka pa oma, i loko o ka oma, no e kano kolo minuke, alaila, hemo i ka oyo, kalamai, a kuke no e ho o kahi, e umikuma lima minuke ho, alaila pa. Okay, so that's our ingredient. So we're gonna do it together. Okay, so we turned on our oven already, mai ka iloa. And so now we are going to oki our kelaki and our aka akai. Okay, so we have our kelaki, we have our aka akai right here. I usually I usually like to get the cutting and the crying out of the way. Okay. Um, so kamea mua oki ika aka akai. Mea u mekai. And oki na mahele lili. Lii li a ole pono nui loa. Um Okay. 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 Yeah? 
Laila ki i ki kela ki. A oki ho. Ina mahele li li. Ho iki wo ya oi. Liki me ke ia. I ke nana. Ya, li li. Okay. A laila koma i loko o ka pa pa lai. My okay, oi iho. Makahele, okay, pahi ke ia ia. So be careful. Don't cut yourself. It's a knife. Take your time. Okay, a komo iloko o kapa palai. Okay. My kai. Okay. Now, if you're in a mako kao, if you're ready, you can turn on your papalai and you want to cook that until it is soft. Until it's cooked. My kaiwa. I put in up on a komoi kavayu paka, right? So it doesn't burn. If you don't have butter, you can use olive oil, you can use regular oil, just so that the um the aka akai and the kelaki doesn't get stuck to the papa lay, to the pet, to the um the frying pan. The easy part, I think. This is a really easy dish, and especially since the holidays are coming up right now. You know, we're gonna eat stuffing anyways. Like, was it 99%? We're probably gonna have stuffing, so you might as well add some kalo. We can add some ulu in there. If you have um, uala, you can add that too. So that's the nice part about this recipe is that um, we can, or you can put all of them. We're actually I'm doing for my Thanksgiving. We usually put kalo. Ulu and uala inside. That's real, real nice. My kai. You hear that sizzle? Oh, I love that song. My kai. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to put some of my vayu paka inside there real quick. There's that pa. My kai. Okay. Okay, so I hope you have some kokua because there's like different parts, right? So you have somebody that's, uh, and that's the part about the ohana, right? The whole ohana should be cooking together. So you have somebody that's um, that's watching the aka akai and the kelaki. And again, we're just doing it till soft. And while that's going, we can actually ho'omakau kau our kalo. So who has their kalo with them today? We makau kau. Hopefully you guys will still need to cook it and, and peel it because then I'm unfortunately you're gonna be eating your stuffing maybe two, three in the morning tonight. I'm sorry. Um, but if it's mako kao, then we can we can get that ready as well. So we have our kalo, yeah. And like make a kelaki, a make a kaakai. Okay, you know, mahele li idi. We're gonna put it small dices, nice dices, nice bite-sized pieces. Okay, yeah, nice spice. You know, like just like a big chunk of color. That's the nice thing about stuffing is you really want it's it's a nice mix, and you don't like one bite of just color or one whole wedge of just onion. You want to make everything kind of the same size when you're cooking it, just so that um you get you get nice bites. Yeah. So here's your color. Very right. oh no, beautiful color by the way. Mahalo nui. It's cutting like butter. I have to um same as the instructions that they give you. If you order from them, you have to kind of like steam them a little bit right before 10 minutes max. And it's just like it's like you just pulled it. It's really, really nice. Cuts really, really well. Tastes really, really good. I already had a shampoo earlier. Okay. So check these out. The veggies are Kokoke pao. We still gotta cut our pao some more. And again, our recipes, they're really, as you can see in our ingredients and whatnot, we didn't put too much numbers. And that's because it's, it's 
you never really know how much you're cooking for, especially in Hawaiian family. You never know how much you're cooking for. So today, you know, it's just me and my Connie. It's very rare because usually this house is full up. Um, usually I'm making a big tinfoil pan of this. And so then I would say, you know, you want to you wanna cut past maybe like four cups of kalo. Um, but, you know, if it's just me, if it's just two people and whatnot, no, I'm probably going to go for it probably because I like it very kalo forward. I like more kalo than bread. Um, I would definitely say probably about two cups of kalo. Um, and then if you're making for plenty, plenty people, then it, it's to how ko make make, ko make make, how you want to do it. So this is the amount of kalo I'm probably going to put in because I have a small pan. Hi. go. And so now that we have the, that all together, our onions are pow, our kettle key is pow. I'll put it on it real quick. We have that. And we have our pola nui, right? Okay. So now we have our pola. And we're going to put our kettle key and a kaakai inside there. That's pow. We can turn that off. We're gonna put, and so that's right there. My cut my right there. Then we're gonna put our kalo inside. My cut. Oh, it's already smells so good already. Okay, and now we're gonna do our palawa. Okay, so this is our palawa. These ones are like a little bit bigger chunks, right? We all know stuffing is like nine, like what is that like? 50% of the bread. But again, because you're adding the kalo, it doesn't need to be anymore, right? You want to do more kalo than anything else. So the pala, you don't have to do too much. Um, some people um, like to pala it before they put it in there. But because it's going to go in the oven, I usually don't do that because it's going to get nice and toasty over there. So these are your bites I'd like to do for the palawa, kia kanui. Yeah, a little bit bigger than the rest. And when that's pow, put it straight into the como iloko kapola. Yeah? Okay. So we have our palawa. I like the baguette because it's just ma'alahi to oki. Very ma'alahi to oki. Let me move this real quick. Yeah. And then a hope you kira kone e oki i ka apala. Now that's gonna like everyone like at it. Apala. I thought this is like a savory dish. Well, it is, but I promise you, the apala adds that little sweet bite that you needed. Because other than that, everything is kind of savory, right? Your kalo, usually you have that, you know, the salt and palawa is known for, you know, savory food. You got your onions, you got your kelaki, but something about the apala just makes it nice and sweet. I cut you know, it looks good. I cut you know. Okay, I'm gonna cut this last half of palawa. I cut you. Okay, then you're gonna get your apala, put that inside, and that one again, eco make make. I cut you. Probably the same size as your kalo. You know, again, you want to keep everything the same size just so that when you take a bite, it all tastes the same. I cut you. And then the last part now that we're going to be adding is our hua moa and our uh, kai moa. And that's kind of to bind it. That's to bind it all together so that it bakes evenly. I cut you. Oh no. Okay, so this is all of our mail right now. We have our kelaki, our akai, our kalo, our palawa, and our apala. Now we're going to put so this all mixed up right in there. Now we are going to put our huamoa. And for this, probably a lua will be enough. Okay. 
And then our Kai Moa will also go inside there. All right, in there. So keep it nice and moist because I don't know about you guys, but I don't like a dry stuffing. It makes me sad. It really makes me sad. Kind of ruins my Thanksgiving. So I like a nice moist one. Okay. So eyake kai o kia kahua moa. I make a kai moa. Como iloko o kapola mina mea apau. Como iloko. Aho o hui. Ho hui kame apau iloko. You want it even, yeah? You don't like onions on the bottom, apples on the top. You want to make sure everything is mixed evenly. Yeah? Alayla, como paakai. Como ka pepa. Ho hui. This is also the time that you would add your lao ai ikalia or any other fresh herbs that you like. Any other lao ai you like. Yeah? You're going to get your pa oma. My poina, we talked about this. Como kaaila, in my case, pam. Iloko, on makaau ao on the sides. And malalo, saole paa. Alaila, como iloko. Como kame ai iloko kapaoma. Mmm, oh, it smells so almost. It's not even cooked yet, you guys. My kai. Okay. So here, manava, ki oi ka foil, a como oi maluna, miki miki ya, and como i loko ka oma no kana kolu minuke. Okay, we're gonna put it in the oven for 30 minutes, okay? Then when the 30 minutes is pao, hemo i ka foil, and hana ho no umi kuma lima minuke, 15 minutes. So all together, kana ha kuma lima minuke, 45 minutes, 30 foil. 15 without. Okay, so come about. Here, my love, you loco. There you go. My cut. Okay. No, Laila. Ma'alahi, ah. Ma'alahi. Easy. Easy, right? Yeah, you don't need to be international chef. You know, we all know how to cook with our foods. And I said, now that the holidays are coming, we have a bunch of big meals coming, right? With your ohana. And so um, now you can add kala. Now you go, oh, well, you know, I know how to do this now and I know how to add this. So go ahead and please do so because I promise it'll change your world. Okay, so while that's going, let's talk about the kalo real quick, okay? You guys know kalo. You guys, you guys, Akamai, that's why. Yeah? So our kalo, our taro, right? Here are all our main parts. We have our oh color my lu, our luau right so lau leaf right but specifically for kalo we call it luau it's very delicious we have plenty of recipes for that as well um, then we have our pico right the same way we have our pico they have their pico you can see it look it looks like a pico and it's right in the middle of the leaf we have the ha which is the stem uh, we have the huli which is when you cut off the luau and the kalo and you end up with the, the in YPO we call it the seed um, or the huli, um, but it's not an ano ano, in like a seed seed, it looks like that. And a huli means to turn around, right? So the idea is that you have a full kalo, you cut off its, its, its leaf and its corn and you end hulio and it starts again, right? Then we have our kalo, which is our actual corn. And we have our a'a, which is our roots. Right, so a lot of people will call the, the kalo itself the root. It's not the root, that's the, that's the part we're eating. We need roots. Um, that's the corn, right, the kalo. And then the roots are the ah. Uh -uh. Okay, so in your chat, what is number one? What is number one? Picture number one here. What is that picture of? Specifically, like, like look at that one piece. I know it, it could be something else, but like, but like, what is it showing you? What is it going, bam, in your chat? Show me, I like see. My kai ai pico pololei. Yeah. Okay, elua. Mia elua. Hea kela. What is that? Like you can write in the chat or you can unmute. I love it. Hea kela. Elua. Elua. Anybody? It's it's what we eat. 
It's the it's what we eating today. Kahalo. <laughs> Kahalo. Mai kai, mai kai loa. What about our number three? Again, we just talked about it, right? We're gonna cut off the leaf. We're gonna cut off the corn. Are we gonna? Huli. Huli, mai kai. <laughs> and then eha. Hello, eha. What what is all that green stuff over there? Spinach, kale. What is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Say, 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 Lua leaf. Lua leaf. Why kai? Oh, why kai? Okay. And what about now? Hello, Elima. The same word as breath. Ha. My kai. I come from ha makua. Right? So the, the breath of the parent, the ha. My kai. And number six, hello, Eono. What is all that? that my kai. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. My kai. No, you guys are on it. My kai. Oh yeah, no lila. Okay, I come on a lot of papa me wa kia. Okay, here we go. Belina, o papa ko o ina. Aloha, o vau o wa kia. No lila. Eya kia ma po e lua o papa me wa kia. Here is papa and here is wa kia. They actually come from the same line of opu kahonua. So they hang out for a little bit, and uh, wa kia goes. So papa goes e wa kia wa lau lau. Now, do we know the word lao lao, we, right? Eat. But it's another way of saying I'm hapai, right? I, I'm, I'm, same thing, I'm kind of holding something inside, just like a lao lao, right? So she goes, ewa kia, ewa lao lao. Ahanao o Hawaii he moku. So her first baby is not a human being, it's Hawaii Island. Uhu, uhu, Hawaii Island. <laughs> that's her first baby. You gotta give, you gotta give Papa some props because that's a big island. And then she goes, Ewakia, wa lao lao. And ha nao o maui he moku. That's her next baby. Yeah, again, gotta give sister props because islands are not easy to give birth to. Then wakia, then she goes, wakia, wa lao lao ho. And ha nao o mono kai he moku. And then guess what happened? Wa lao lao ho, lao lao ho. And ha na o la naika ula he moku. And then she goes, eh, wa kia. <laughs> Guess what? Ua lao lao ho. And ha na o o ahu he moku. She's like, okay, wa kia. It's the last one, I promise. Gotta be. Because ua lao lao again. She's kind of over it. But ha na o kawaii he moku. But that wasn't it. She was like, what's up? Well, oh, no, oh. Aha, no. Oni i hau he moku. And, and what's up? Well, oh, no, oh. At this point, it's, it, you know, it's just getting ridiculous. Aha, no. He ula o kau o kau o lave. The ula was kind of the, the afterbirth that comes up. But Papa and Wakea are the parents of all the islands. Okay? So then, Wakea meets Ho'ohoku kal Kalani. She goes, Veli na o Wakea. And he's like, eh, aloha e Ho'ohoku Kalani. No, you know, I am this, you know, make aloha, aloha. Well, unfortunately, they, she becomes lau lau, but her keiki is alu alu. And so, awe, he keiki alu alu, ua hala uhiako. Unfortunately, her child had passed away, yeah? Um, it was never born into full term. And so what they did was they buried him in the most eastern part of their, their hale, their, their kauhale. And the eastern part is, is east in Hawaiian is very important, right? It's the domain of Kane. And Kane is the god of, of new life, right? The, the sun, the water, it's actually the kinola of Kalo itself, um, new beginnings. And so they planted their child in that just for for the kauna sake of it. And while she cries, she goes to this spot every single day, you know, to lose a child is very heartbreaking. And so she goes to the same spot every day. And uwe, uwe, oya, holo kona kuluvai maka iloko kahonua. Her tears flow into the ground, same spot every single day. And one day while she's there, Wakia's like, eh, na, na, mai, kamo, o haloa na kalau kapalili kona inoa. He goes, honey, Look, there's there's something growing out of this. It, it's a kalo, and his name is Haloa Nakalau Kapalili. Well, 
They live together and they have all these kalo growing, who is their son. And then she goes, e wakia, ua lao lao. Okay, this is a note to self. If you meet anybody named Wakia, don't hang out with him unless you have 80 kids with them probably, okay? But Hoku Kalani becomes pregnant with another child. And Mahalo Keakua, the child was born safely, was born to full term and, ha and they name him Haloa. And he is the first Kanaka. He's the first human, okay? So that is our mo'olelo, or in, in, in fancy terms, we call it our cosmogonic genealogy, which basically means it's, it's, it's how we show where we come from in the scheme of things, right? And, oh, hold on. Um, and so uh, we have our relationship with the Aina, we have our relationship with the Kalo, and we have relationship with the Kanaka, right? Remember the first parents were, you know, Wakia and Papa, and they had birthed all the islands. And then Wakia and Ho'oku Kalani have the Kalo. And then they have Halua, who is the first man. So it shows us our relationship that we are all Ohana, right? It also shows us what our kuleana is to each other, right? So I am the hiapo. I am the oldest. Is anybody else? Raise your hand. I'm going to turn on my camera. Like, who else is the oldest? I, I'm so sorry. It's so hard, isn't it? It's just terribly difficult. Those young ones are just sometimes. But we are supposed to malama our siblings, right? Are you, if you're the oldest, right? You, you in charge, right? When you leave, when you go with your sibling, what do your parents say? Take care your sister, right? Or take care your brother. That's what they say. So you malama your sister, you malama your brother, right? When you fight with them, how come they don't get as in trouble as you do? Because you're the oldest. You're supposed to malama them. And after 28 years, it's still so hard, but I've learned that that's what I have to do as a kaikua ana, as an older sibling. And so the, the islands, the kalo, they take care of us. We're going to eat this kalo today. It's going to nurture us, okay? Besides just the... the the Ike part of it and the whole part of Haloa that we are you know, consuming. There's also so many scientific um, benefits, calcium, um, it's hypoallergenic, which means you're not allergic to the Kalo. So it's not just like, oh, my kupuna said Kalo is healthy, so it must be healthy. It's really actually healthy, I promise you guys. And so the so Haloa, Nakalau Kapalili, the Kalo, the Aina constantly takes care of us. But who's the youngest here? Who is the youngest? Raise your hand if you are a muli, if you are a, a muli loa, you're a baby, if you're a kaikaina, right? What is your job to the oldest? Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Ho'olohe. <laughs> to ho'olohe. And to also to listen to, to malama, to take care of them as well. And so us as Kanaka, we have to listen to the Aina. We have to listen to Haloa. We have to listen to, to our kupuna. And I know our kupuna is telling us, you know, please malama Aina, right? We have to malama Aina. It's telling us to, to go back to our traditional ways of eating and our ways of farming and whatnot. And so again, this that whole story, you believe it or not, um, teaches us that we are all Ohana, that we all have different roles that we play, but if we listen and if we do our koleana, we will live a lot more healthier, happier, like our kupuna did. So that story actually has an oli, has a whole oli to it, all right? And so I'm going to go over it real, real quick, and that's kind of the last thing we're doing today. Um, it normally has two parts. So the bold part is somebody that kahea, and then the other part is somebody that responds to it, okay? But I'm just going to do two parts because... I don't want nobody here today. So the first, this page right here is the relationship. And Ho'olohe, now that you know the story, you can listen, right? But it's the first part is the relationship between Wakia and Papa and all the keiki they have, okay? And if you know it, join along. Hanau molo ka ihe moku, hanau lana i kaula he moku. Lio pupu na lu o papa yaho ho ku kalani ho iho papa no he awa kia. Hanau o ahu he moku, hanau kawa ihe moku, hanau ni hau he moku. He ula a o ka ho lave. And the next part is the relationship between wakia and ho ho ku kalani. No ho ho o wakia ya ho ho ku kalani. Ua hanau mai ka wakia keiki mua. He keiki alu alu o halo anaka ka inoa. A make wa keiki alu alu la. 
kanu ia i hola mawaho o ke kala o ka hale i lalo i ka lepo maho ke iho. Ulu mai ua keiki la kālono. O ka lau o ua kalo la, ua kapa ia o lau kapa lili. O ka hā o ua kalo la o hā loa. Hanau mai he keiki hou. Kapa la kou i kona inoa ma ka hā o ua kalo la o hā loa. Nā nā mai ko ki au nea pau o hā loa hoi. And you're supposed to slam them at the end. Because you know, like, hello, that's the first kind. Of. So that's an Oli. Um, tell, shares the story of, of how we came to be today, how Kanaka came to be. It is a story. Again, we have many other stories where um, Hina is the mother of Moloka'i, um, that there is another father of Oahu. You know, we have a lot of these Mo'olelo, um, but this is kind of the more popular one, um, the one that we can find in more books. And uh, mahalo nui again for joining me. So if you did cook your stuffing, again, kanaha kumalima minuke in total, 45 minutes in total. Kanakolo minuke, make a, make a faila, right, with the, with, the, with the foil on top. And then mahope, hemo, kuke komo e kooma no umi kumalima minuke, 15 minutes to get them top nice and toasty. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing that where you like, that's the, that's when you're like, oh my God, just put it on my plate. But again, mahalo nui for jo joining me today. Um, this is just us, Kuakanaka. Um, you can follow us, go on our website, follow us on Instagram. If you have any questions, you can email me. Um, anything Kanaka Kitchen related, cooking related, and anything else that we do, mahalo nui for joining me. And I hope you enjoy your, your kalo stuffing this holiday season. Mahalo nui. Mahalo to you. Mahalo. Thank you very yeah, much. Oy, Iini. Thank you so much for that beautiful presentation. I learned so much. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining this evening. With the last few minutes, does anybody have any pressing questions for Iini? If you do, you can put them in the chat. Um, and while we look for some potential questions, we just want to mahalo everybody, especially Ku'ule of Kamakau in Kaneohe for coordinating so many kalo shipments and remind everybody to please check out the Hawaii Ulu Cooperative, go to our website. And if you want to have our recipe ready, ingredients, makau kau, ready to cook with, Iini showed us how we can use it in this kalo stuffing today. Please go and subscribe to any of our bulk products and you guys can get five pounds at a time straight to your doorstep, already cooked, steamed, cut, ready to go, put in the pan or in the stew. So we really encourage everybody to cook with kalo, ulu, wala, and pala'ai on a regular basis, support local, support ono local foods, and thank you, Iini, again for this presentation. Mahalo nui. If you don't mind, I just would like to just close with the, with the last oli. Let's, um, let's do it. I'm going to close it, right? So, mahalo. Mahalo e ie, mahalo e kale hulehu, mahalo e na makua, mahalo e na kupuna, mahalo e na lio hawaii, mahalo e na au makua, mahalo e na akua, mahalo e ie. Mahalo nui, thank you.